Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Fish Door County TV. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's mid-morning. We're out here on Lake Michigan, and we're doing one of my favorite things of all time, and that's chasing steelhead out of a small boat. We're with my buddy Kevin Smith. He was nice enough to bring his rig up here to help us fish out of it. It's perfectly set up for this type of fishing, and we're going to show you guys some beautiful steelhead this morning, and hopefully give you guys a few tips on how you can get out and take advantage of this great fishery yourself. Stay tuned. We'll be back in one minute. As you can see, we're out here in the middle of Lake Michigan today, beautiful weather, and we're small boat fishing for steelhead. And I'm gonna hey, start- Mike, fish! There he is, there he is, right here! Oh, we're off to a fast start this morning. All right, I think he's hooked up. All right, we got him. Outside planer board. Just got all the lines set. We're not, we actually, we just got started here. And we got a nice fish on to start with. Oh, he's jumping back here already. And this is what makes steelhead fishing so much fun. Looks like we got a nice steelhead on here, Kev. He really pounded that outside board. We're gonna get into a little bit more detail here on how to do this. But if you like fishing out on the lake here out of small boats, it doesn't get much better than chasing steelhead on a day like this. Let's get the net here. Scoop this guy in. Nice little rainbow. Not a giant fish. Great way to start the day. Beautiful fish. And when it comes to salmon and trout, to me, there isn't many fish cooler looking or more fun to catch than these steelhead out here in this open water. You know when you're out steelhead fishing, the setup that you're running is really, really important. You know, it's a lot different than when you're running, you know, let's say for, for salmon, say kings and that. You know, sometimes when you're in a little bit bigger boat and you can run a lot more rods, you know, sometimes you can run you know those setups in combination but you know here what we're doing is sometimes we fish specifically for king sometimes we fish specifically for steelhead right now today this morning here we're fishing for steelhead so what we're doing here is we're running a couple downriggers but what we're doing is we're running lengths maybe 100 to 150 foot off we're using bright colored spoons and we're maybe running them down 20 to 40 feet we got dipsies we turn those dipsies or we should say divers we got those out at a three and a half setting we're running again bright colored spoons and we're only letting out 50 to 100 feet of string out on those and then our boards we're running a variety of different things you know basically we're concentrating on in the top 20 feet of the water our farthest lines out to the side you know we're pretty much running flat line or maybe with a quarter ounce weight 
and then as we work our way in we add a little bit more weight a little bit more string out to get them down a little bit deeper and then we're also running some segmented lead core now I'll tell you what when you run that that's a specific setup our speed we're running pretty fast we're running above three three to three and a half miles an hour day like today you want to cover water you know there's a few things that you can look for slicks you can look for temperature breaks and really right now we have a couple of, you know we have both of those really we're fishing an edge of water between 49 and 50 degrees and then we also have come through a few slicks so you follow some of those things you make that set up nice and sparse and you're going to catch some more fish those shallow downriggers you want to have some fun there's nothing more exciting when you got a short you know, downrigger, meaning that it's only down 20 feet, but it's back far behind the boat. Yeah, it looks like we got another nice steelhead on here. And I'll tell you what, a day like today, you could go out, you got nice weather, you can fish these fish all day long and catch them all day long. Get them in the boat here. Yeah, nice size steel. Yeah, definitely fun. And I'll tell you what, Mike, what's really cool is those short downriggers, you know, those shallow downriggers with those long leads. You know, those to me, board bites are fun, no question. The dipsy bites can be great, but those shallow downriggers, short leads from the rod tip to the ball, I'll tell you, those can be in a blast. The bites, even on little fish like this, the bites are just fun. They're just cool. You know guys, one cool thing about fishing out of small boats for steelhead or even for salmon, but especially when you're targeting steelhead out here, is that we're using a lot of the same equipment from rods and reels and tackle that we would use for walleyes or for brown trout that we're using out here for these steelhead. One of the key things that we can use that a lot of boats that may come out here, the smaller boats will have on them, would be an autopilot trolling motor like this Minn Kota Tarova. Now the one cool thing that you can do with this to make your trolling for steelhead out here really easy and much more efficient is to use the autopilot features on here to actually control the boat just like a big autopilot that would be rigged up on a charter boat, for example. Um, how we do it is we'll actually deploy the kicker motor, we'll put it into the speed that we want. Maybe we'll troll at three miles an hour. We don't want to ask our Tarova to be pulling us along all day at three miles an hour because it's going to drain battery quickly. But we'll let the kicker engine control the speed of the boat, which is going to be much more efe efficient at doing that. And then we'll actually just program the autopilot feature on the Tarova to set a course and the boat will actually be turned from the front by the Tarova and we don't have to worry as much about steering. So it's kind of a cool feature that these things will do where they'll actually steer the boat and anytime you turn the boat from the front, especially as compared from the rear, you're getting much quicker response time and much more accurate steering. So setting a Tarova or any autopilot model like this one right here to control the direction of the boat and control the course of the boat and then let your kicker motor control the speed, that is an excellent setup and a really efficient way to target these steelhead offshore. Downrigger! Oh, there we go. Not a big fish. It looks like another nice little steelhead off the downrigger and this is what we talked about earlier. Long leads off shallow downrigger sets. This thing's actually set at 20 feet only. You'll see a lot of people won't, wouldn't even think about putting downrigger down 20 feet because your first thought with downriggers is that you're going to cover deeper water. And that's one of their main functions, obviously. But when you're targeting steelhead exclusively like we are out here, it could be a really great technique, really productive, to put these downriggers super shallow, 20, 30 feet, but of course, when you do that, remember that you have to lengthen your lead. You're not going to run them like you would normally, a flash or fly behind them. Get them 100, 150 feet back. They're going to put some steelhead in the boat, just like this one here. There you go. Not a big fish, but fun as can be. Oh, there's a nice little Door County steelhead. Nothing big. It's just a fun little fish to catch and you can catch these things at some pretty good numbers when you dial a pattern in and 
And one of the keys to the patterns out here is the spoon selection. They like these orange and chartreuse colors, a little bit of flash, a little bit of silver to them, sometimes copper if the weather's a little darker, or a little cloudier days, gold tints. Anything that looks a little bit noisy and a little flashy to us is a great steelhead color. It's gonna put a lot of these guys in the bowl. Let's get this guy in a box. Let's go get this bait back in the water, catch another one. Run at us here. All right. I got him. Got him. All right, well, we got one in the box. There well, we that's go. A, that's a nice one, Kevin. You know, we got two on here. This is another dandy steelhead. Yeah, I tell you what, it doesn't get much better. Light line. Go. Nice job. Got him in the net. Oh, I'll tell you what. <coughs> Definitely uh, some great steelhead action. When you get days like this, these flat, calm days, you put your boards out, you put your spoons on, and you can catch some fish like this. Tell you what, we're going to pull these fish in the cooler. We're going to put those spoons back out there and we're going to catch some more of these. The concept of small boat fishing on the lake, a lot of times it intimidates people. And we always mention the fact that weather, you've got to monitor the weather. Safety first, always. Watch the weather before you go out. If, it, if you deem it safe to be out in the water, then you can get out and enjoy yourself. But when you're out there, be sure to monitor the weather as you're fishing as well. If you have a cell phone, Sometimes check in on the radar and make sure there's no fronts coming in or no storms. Or if you don't, call shore once in a while. If there's somebody you know that's back at the house or back, in, back on shore, call them to see how the weather is because you don't want to get stuck 8 or 10 miles out in a small boat if you have a storm front moving in from shore. So once you're out there and you deem it safe to be out there, the nice thing about Door County is you have both sides of the peninsula to fish. The bay side, the lake side, everywhere from Sturgeon Bay all the way up to Washington Island. Usually, if the weather is not real bad, you can find a port or an area that you can fish in a small boat and take advantage of this great fishery. So, if you're going to come out here in a small boat, like we said, watch the weather, pick the port that looks the safest, and you're going to catch a lot of fish in small boats up here in Door County. Well, we got another one on here on the outside board, and what makes these fish so fun, and we touched on a little bit today, but the tackle we're using to target these steelhead especially when you're exclusively fishing for steelhead out here like we are now. Uh, we're using our walleye rods. I mean, we're using, you know, eight, eight and a half foot, medium to medium heavy rods and fast tips. The same rods that you would troll your regular planer boards if you were on the lower bay trolling for walleyes. Uh, they work perfect for steelhead. We're running 12 pound, at the most 14 pound test. And when you get these fish on a long planer board, long ways out on these kind of these rods, they're just a blast to catch. Absolutely a blast. Now, you don't need, if you target steelhead exclusively, you don't need big dollar, big heavy gear to target them. King's a little different story, but when you're looking for steelhead, you can run the exact same stuff that you troll walleyes with, or the same stuff that you troll brown trout with if you target them in the spring and in the fall. So, makes it kind of fun. And it, oh, he's really jumping out there. Got this guy, he's really been leaping. And that's what makes steelhead, another unique trait to steelhead is that they really jump. And when they come up hot behind the board, and this guy's coming into the boat pretty hot to be honest with you. I'm gonna get Kevin on the net here and when they come in hot, they are cool fish. Cool. Oh, we got another one on the dipsy here. Oh, jumping out there.
That was pretty cool. And the cool thing is that's pretty common. That's what these fish do. Getting them closer to the boat here. We're gonna put Kevin back to work here. He didn't even get the first fish barely out of the net. And we're on to another one right away. Nice feel. Oh boy. That's a beautiful fish right there. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Tim, another great day in the water out here chasing these fish up in Door County. And how can you beat a day that ends with a double? We got another one on right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. It doesn't get any better than this, does it? No, you want to come up here and experience some of this. Bring your small boat, bring your steelhead gear, and I guarantee you, you're going to catch some fish like this. Thanks again for watching, guys. We're going to go get this last fish, and we'll see you again next week on another episode of Fish Door County TV.